Awareness. It's the currency with which we buy time to act. A couple caveats. What am I looking for? What in my environment do I need to be aware of? And then what do I do with the information when I get it? Case in point, before you step in traffic, aware of cars. What do I do with that information? Either cross the road or don't, right? Very basic stuff. If I look out my hotel window and I see a large white tanker truck and I see a fog of smoky looking stuff like what we see in the video and I don't know what to do with it, I probably should get away. It's not a movie set. In this case, we're looking at anhydrous ammonia and a leak of that ammonia. Anhydrous is Greek for without water. That substance seeks water. You know what's full of water? Your lungs, your eyes, and this stuff will kill you when you breathe it in. Happens all the time. Just Google anhydrous ammonia death or accident and you will see it. After a semi-truck carrying nearly 8,000 gallons of toxic ammonia overturned, killing five people, including two children, and injuring several more. How do you know? Well, in EMT, paramedic, first responder school, uh, people will learn about some of these chemicals. You know who else knows? Truckers. Go look up the placards. You see them on the back of semi-trailers all the time, such as 1203 Fuel. It's a diamond shaped panel, and as you're driving around, you can educate yourself, look them up, take a picture, and find out about what these placards are telling you. It'll actually also give you some cause to maybe not tailgate some of these trucks out on the road because there's stuff in them that can kill you. Just some food for thought this morning. The more we know, the more prepared we are to deal with the things that come up. If you see a big cloud of smoke in a white tanker truck, get away now. Don't film it. Don't play with it. Boogie. Be well, don't be dickheads. Tell somebody you love them. See you at class. CarryTrainer.com. Oh, <laughs>